So hello everyone. So today I am present with a new concept that is I have already told you that we are going to discuss about the importance of things series. So I have present with my third chapter or third unit that is the significance of having a home. So guys, what do you think? What is the difference between the home and house? I think you all know that what's the difference between home and house. So let me just tell you, uh, a home is that home where the people live. They bake something for feeding themselves. Where they live, they talk, they do everything normally like a person. That we call a home. Or basically, a home is that where the people lives. That can be called home. But what about the house? A house can be that thing which uh, where no one lives and yeah, but it also contains a room, well maintained room. Uh, everything is well maintained. Like uh, that, that, uh, that house would be a roof and everything would be there. But no one is there to live. No, no, even an animal or even uh, any person is going to live there. That can be considered as house. A house now, a house can be properly built or either it can not be properly built. This is what the difference between the house and a home. Now let's just discuss about some positive. Uh, points or we can say the significance or we can say we'll just us uh, share our experience about a home so what is home a home is uh, a home is that place where we where we do not feel hesitate to do anything our soul flies and whatever uh, we can do whatever we want and we can wear clothes whatever we want to wear and we can eat anything and what is what is present at your home that time and yeah we can go anywhere in our home that can be called as home so uh, uh, let us consider if we do not have any home like uh, if we look at the people who live in slum uh, so they do not have any home they just get a whenever they get a place they just build their uh, they just what, what we can say that they just pile up the plastics and just make their hot type that to them they call their home they also to that person that is their home because they are living there they are protecting themselves from the animals in the night they can sleep there in the night they can sleep uh, they can do they can cook there they can uh, put their things whatever is necessary or whatever is very precious to them so this is can be a home for everyone a home cannot be like uh, we have only the home which is built by the brick and the cement it doesn't mean that we have a home if a person is living there with a, in a heart and he or she might have not uh, like uh, this much this much money to, to which we can he or she can purchase the home so he or she can live in a heart that can be considered as a home because home is there where people lives as i have already shared to you and uh, people suppose that if we do not have any home like uh, stray dogs stray uh, stray cows stray uh, cats so but uh, then what would be the condition of the human beings like this is the condition of animals we know we all know like if we do not have home then what would we do where would we go uh, like for example there is no concept of home making here on the earth planet then uh, suppose then what would happen now everyone uh, what would they do they just uh, uh, own a place and what would they do they just put their things in the open by just making the boundary they would just place their things there and there and like this is the washroom uh, this is the washroom area only and we cannot build anything over and over because we do not have technology so what can we gonna do then what would our life be that at that time so it's very good that we have home now so at that time if we if we do not know the technology how to make the home then we cannot protect ourselves from any animal we can protect 